Happy 4th of July. I am well overdue for a check-in. I'm overdue for a video to come out. Thank you for everyone for checking on me. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm just behind on editing and filming. I'm currently in Vermont. Massachusetts was very rainy. The trail was very wet. My feet were wet. There were many days that I felt disheartened and the miles felt daunting. And now that I'm in Vermont, it's still rainy, it's muddy. And so please keep sending me your encouraging messages. They make my day. This video is a little bit different than my previous ones because there were days that I didn't want to film. And so I didn't necessarily keep track of the number day. Uh, so I think this video is going to end up being like maybe day 97 to 115, which is a big range, but uh, it's what YouTube is getting. When I was at the Chinese restaurant the other day, I had a fortune cookie and this is what it said. And it just really helped me remember that this isn't just about me. I know that I'm out here to inspire other people. So on the days that I want to quit, I try to keep in mind that there's others looking up to me and there's others who wish they had this experience. So I'm trying to not take it for granted and keep thinking of the positive things. If you want to skip this video, I understand it's going to just be a hodgepodge of clips. The New York City skyline is over there. 1400 miles on the Appalachian Trail. Good morning. This morning I saw the New York City skyline. I'm going to be walking through a zoo today. This is Bear Mountain. You see a vending machine in the woods. Right. So the trail goes through a zoo. So here's our white blaze and here's an exhibit. Getting ready to climb this. It's gonna be a tough one. This is where I started. Right here. I made it to Connecticut.
1,465.6 miles on the Appalachian Trail. Two thirds of the way there. Just made it to the country storm. Looks like it's gonna storm. This is what I was in for over two hours today. Good morning. It is day 108 on the Appalachian Trail. It has been 108 days since I started on March 11th. In my previous day count, I wasn't counting the two days that I spent at home in Missouri. I took about a week off from vlogging. Um, wasn't necessarily burnout, but just ready for a break and so I'm back now on day 108 and throughout the day I'll kind of catch you up on what I have experienced on that time off. One of the things that I didn't film was my first zero day since April 30th when I was in Missouri. I did a zero in Kent, Connecticut. I got an Airbnb to escape the rain. I did laundry at the laundromat and then right across the street was their IGA grocery store and let's see, I had Chinese food. I also went to the Kent Pizza Garden and they had live music. When I was in Kent, I got to run into some familiar faces. I ran into James and Claire from Ireland. And I also ran into Remington and Billy Goat. So it was nice to see those familiar faces and catch up. One thousand five hundred miles on the Appalachian Trail. Trail Midge. Good morning. Welcome to day 109. First things first. I am in Salisbury, Connecticut. And the only thing open it seems like right now is a little bakery. So I have a croissant and some frittatas. I had my first fall in Connecticut. I was in a downpour the other day, soaked, and so the rocks were slick and I fell and my left kneecap took the brunt of it. I had a goose egg on my knee and it was bruised, but luckily I was able to walk. Here is my resupply for one day. I have some stuff I'm eat for breakfast, for lunch, and I already have a dinner packed. This is for my shoulders. It is pouring and luckily I made it to a shelter to stay dry. So glad I'm not out in this. It is pouring right now, just hanging out on my map. I'm looking at far out, trying to figure out logistics of slack packing going forward, trying to finish the first week of August.
Welcome to Massachusetts. Good morning. It's day 110. The rain has really been putting a damper on my mileage. And so today I was up at five, out at six. I'm gonna try to do 12 by 12 into the town of Great Barrington to get my package. You may be thinking, wow, look at that creek. Nope, this is the trail. Wildfire smoke is back. Okay, Massachusetts, I see you. you. Tried to kill me this morning on a rock scramble. The rocks were so slick, but I forgive you. This is nice. I am at the Great Barrington, Massachusetts Post Office, and I'm going to be sending home my Spike Lake 15 degree sleeping bag, and my parents have sent me my Enlightened Equipment 20 degree bag um, for the summer. Good morning, it is day 111. I woke up at the Tom Leonard Shelter in Massachusetts. I tent camped. Yesterday I wore my Trail Magic earrings and there was indeed Trail Magic, so they worked. We passed up Trail Magic though to get into the town of Great Barrington, but the Trail Magic earrings did provide four hitches. I had a shuttle from Fiddlehead Restaurant to the grocery store, and then I got a hitch from the grocery store to the post office, and then walked down to the hardware store and got a fuel canister and got a hitch from there back to trail. I am smart. I'm smart. I am creative. I'm creative. I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm determined. I'm determined. My family loves me. My family loves me. My friends love me. My friends love me. I'm a hard worker. I'm a hard worker. I can make a difference. I can make a difference. I woke up in America. I woke up in America. And it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> this is the trail two days post rain. It's very muddy, still has a trickle going through it. So you have to watch for your stepping. Morning. This is the I-90 bridge. Ah, the sounds of nature. Good morning. It's day 112. I have my smile back. Today we are going to be staying with Monica in Massachusetts. She's going to be hosting us. Uh, she texted this morning and she was like, what are you craving for dinner? She was like, I could make lasagna. I can put something on the grill. Does Indian food sound good? And I've been craving lasagna for weeks, so I'm so excited. Garlic bread. And Stairmaster's excited because then she texted back. She was like, what about garlic bread and ice cream? And we're like, oh, man. So laying down the miles, walking faster than I ever have. Can't wait to go to Monica's house. And It's about 4.15. 
I completed 17.6 miles and now just waiting on our ride to pick us up. This looks so good. I am in heaven. Lasagna, garlic bread, salad, and sangria. I'm getting a yabba dabba do. And I'm getting a maple and bacon. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is probably what the trail looks like right now. Good morning. It is day 113. I left Monica's house this morning. Got back to trail. It was raining. Ugh. I hate feeling like I have to do miles, but to finish on time I need to. So I've been walking for maybe like three or four miles, head into a shelter, gonna take my shoes off, my socks off, bring them out and eat some food and just reset for the day. It has been rainy in Massachusetts. This is the trail currently. I'm trying to keep my shoes and socks dry for morale. This is the trail. Good morning, it's day 115. It is the 4th of July. And yesterday, late last night, we summited Mount Greylock in Massachusetts. And today I'm going to be hitting 1600 miles on the Appalachian Trail and crossing into the state of Vermont. Sixteen hundred miles on the Appalachian Trail. I have finished my descent of Mount Greylock. I'm heading into the town of Williamstown, I think, in Massachusetts. I just hit sixteen hundred miles. It did rain on me again. Try not to let it harm my morale, but sucks having wet feet. Trail magic earrings coming in clutch. Vermont, or Vermud, living up to its name. 